As you can see, we have a bunch of archers and there's also some Spartan warriors scattered around the map because they need to protect their land. But from what I hear you ask, the brand new Godzilla. I mean, look at this guy. He looks awesome, right? Welcome back to Animal Revolt Battle Simulator. As you can see, we're on this new bridge creation right here. And I'm going to see if Goru over there can take down the new Hydra. So what's interesting about this is Goru would usually lose to the Hydra. But if Goru manages to push the Hydra off, then he's going to win this one. All right, here we go. Oh, oh come on, Goru. You got this. No, don't fall. No. Oh, he's holding on. Don't let go, Hydra. Oh, what the? He's holding on to his face. No, down he goes. <laughs> Instant death. Goru has lost. Oh, wait, hang on a minute. Hydra, what, <laughs> what are you doing? Well, the Hydra's dead too now. Great. So I, I've actually had an idea with Goru here. What I'm going to do is give him some grappling hooks and some other weapons to hopefully help him in the fight. That way he might be able to actually stay up on the platform a lot more easy. Right harpoon there and a harpoon there and why not throw in some extra tentacles as well i mean the hydra has five heads so we need all the help we can get here oh you know what else would be a good idea if i just get a boxing glove right there then some dynamite it's been a while since i've done this and then the dynamite should go straight into the hydra start the battle here we go oh be careful with those explosives don't want to set them off Oh, careful, careful. But yeah, I am also taking suggestions still, so make sure you leave them in the comment section down below for the next episode. Fire! Oh, it worked so well. Yes. The only issue is we only get one shot at that. No, no, no. Grapple on. Grapple on. No! <laughs> they keep falling in that corner there. And we lost again. Right, come on, Goro. You got this. Fire those grapples. And now the boxing glove. Nice. Yeah, I believe in Goru. Now that he has the attachments there, he has a lot better chance of actually winning this fight. Now, in this video, I've also downloaded some workshop creations, which I'm going to show to you guys in just a moment. Some of them are pretty crazy, that's for sure. Fight still going on. No one's fallen off yet, which is a good sign. Oh, look at the health. Wait, how's Goru? Oh, Goru is nearly dead. Oh, he's already killed, I think, maybe two of the heads of the Hydra. Maybe even three. It's hard to tell right now. No, Goru. Oh, did he do it? Yes! Goru has won that time. But now things are about to get a little strange in this game because he is fighting cartoon cats. Here we go. I've never seen this thing in action, so I don't know if it's powerful or not. Oh, <gasps> no, he killed Goru so quickly. Oh, he's falling. Oh, cartoon cat, no! He's still alive. What? Wait, hang on a minute. Oh, look at his stats. No wonder he won so fast. So, due to Cartoon Cat being so overpowered, let's get King Komodo in. This is another workshop creation. It seems like just a very heavily armored Komodo dragon. It's also been scaled up, as you can see. So, let's see who will win against Gore. Oh, jeez, he's been knocked off the map. Oh, wait, what? We lost, though. Are you kidding me? He's still alive. Oh, hang on. No way. Look at his stats. That's way worse than Cartoon Cat. Wait, is this now my most overpowered creation then with those stats? No way. Right, let me remove my custom Goru here. Sorry, fella. You did great, but now it's time for some more testing. Now, this creation right here is the Destroyer. I've used this in a previous episode. It was the most powerful creation I had. And now he's going up against a Komodo Dragon. This doesn't really make any sense. But let's start the battle anyway. I feel like the Komodo Dragon will lose this one because of all the guns that the Destroyer has. I mean, the Komodo Dragon here just has spikes by the looks of it. Oh, he's been pushed off the map. Bye. Oh, what the... <laughs> I know you have wings, but you can't fly the destroyer. Okay, he's dead too. Great. But yeah, if you notice, the King Komodo here didn't die from any of the attacks. He died from the full damage, which is already really impressive. And victory to the destroyer once again. But what about my creation? This right here is my most overpowered creation I've made. Well, other than the army killer killer. This is just the army killer. But let's see how it does against the Komodo dragon. Right, come on. They're both still alive so far. Oh, look at that. The army killer's winning. Yes. No damage has been done to us, but the Komodo drag. Oh, hang on a minute. Never mind. Oh, he took so much health off so quick. Oh, hang on a minute. Well, no one wins. Well, apart from the Komodo drag because it says here, I've lost. We need the porcupine. Here we go. Right, all you have to do is roll over the enemy and you'll win. Go. Yeah. Oh, it's actually working. 
Whoa! Whoa! Dude! <laughs> that was insane! What? I can't believe the porcupine actually did that. I thought it would die instantly. Oh, no. What are you doing? No! Oh. Oh, great. Oh, he's still alive! Yes! Roll! Do it! <laughs> yes! Oh, man. This creation is amazing. I can't, I can't remember, like, the porcupine being this powerful. Look at the way he's just spinning him around. Oh, it all makes sense now. His health is glitched, so I don't think he can actually die. And also, if you look at the Komodo dragon's health, he hasn't taken any damage either. Oh, no. It's still a lot of fun just to watch this guy in action, though. Go, porcupine, go. Do the roll thing. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> that is pretty awesome. But unfortunately, because the health is bugged, this fight will never end. So we have to end it ourselves. End battle. So it's been a while since I've been on this building map right here. But as you can see, I have downloaded this right here, which I believe is called Warbat. I've not seen it in action yet. And we also have some other creations dotted around on the buildings, including one of my own, Barry's Worm. Oh, and also mention King Ghidorah. 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 I think that's how you say it. Anyway, start the battle. Here we go. Oh, wait. Oh, look at the Warbat go. Oh, that thing looks powerful. Oh no, the worm has been defeated straight away. So yeah, we have four different teams here. Oh, they're going down. I have no idea who will win against these two. Hang on, I just realized this is a worm as well. There's a worm inside. That's what it's based off. That is disgusting. <laughs> okay, so there's also um, another creation back there that isn't taking off. I think it's the phoenix. I don't know what's wrong with him. Let me go have a little look. What is he? Oh, wait, is he already dead? No way. No, he's still alive. He's just chilling. Oh, oh, it's getting a bit laggy. I think some of the buildings are wobbling all over the place. Oh, looks like King Ghidorah is actually winning this fight. Seems pretty equal, though, to be fair. Oh, this is actually really, really cool. I haven't seen a uh, an, an air fight this large for a long time in this game. Come on. Oh, he's shooting at the Phoenix. Phoenix, get out of there. What are you doing? Why can't you fly? Oh, no. Phoenix has now been messed up. Look at that. Down it goes. Okay, now it's just a 1v1 situation. Oh, the building's going down. Look at that. Down it goes. It looks like Jenga. And that is the main building now gone. Okay, so what's happening between these two? I think they're so far apart that they can't see each other anymore. Is he landing? He is. Hey, what are you doing? Go fight the enemy. He's up there. He's right above you. Yeah, they're literally too far away. <laughs> they don't know where each other are. <laughs> Maybe if I give him a little, little nudge, I don't know if that works or not. Oh, yeah, here we go. He's going down. He's going down. There we go. Now they're fighting each other. So I pushed the big worm thing down, got him closer, and now they're fighting. But they're also bringing down the building with them. Oh, no, worm. Stop flying. No, no, no. If you go out the map, you're going to die. No, the worm has been defeated. King Ghidorah is victorious. Wow. Look at the destruction of this place right here. They made a real mess. Moving on to the swamp. We have here the water beast. Now, I've not seen this in action before. I have no idea how powerful it is. But we have a Spartan warrior army here ready to try and take it down. Okay, let's see this thing in action, shall we? Whoa, it's got missiles? What? Oh, no, that's going to kill them so fast. <laughs> and the army, just like that, have been defeated. Well, it looks like they are going to need some reinforcements. So let's get some horses on both sides. And we'll also get some archers in. Let's set them to guard mode. And we'll just scatter them around like this. Yeah, there we go. The water beast surely will die after this. This formation might not be the best either, but uh, hopefully everything will work out. Romans on the front. Now let's start the battle. All right, here come the missiles. It's going to do a lot of damage to begin with, but hopefully some will survive. Oh, the tentacles. No. Look at that. Oh, no, they're all getting messed up. Everyone's dead right away. This really is a war beast. This thing is overpowered. No, the archers are all dying. No. <laughs> okay, we're going to have to bring in some creations that are a lot more powerful than this army right here. Oh, and they are all dead now. Oh, wait, hang on a minute. We have a survivor. Oh, it's these guys. <laughs> um, dude, you okay? I don't think anyone is okay. I'm sending in Gary's family, including the security guard, which often, he, you know, he doesn't fight that much. So let's see if these guys can take down the water beast. All right, here we go. Come on. Watch those missiles. No, parrot. I think the parrot's dead. Oh, it's been crushed by the tentacles. Yes, go, cat, go. Come on. 
Oh, it got eaten. It's been destroyed by the tentacles. But as you can see, a lot of them are still alive, which is a good sign. Security guard is now punching them. Oh, no, they're all dying. No, no. Gary's big bro, you got this. Never mind, he's dead. And everyone has been defeated. Other than the hamster. Where is he? No. <laughs> hamster is always the last alive because he can never move. So here's what I've done. I have spawned in a bunch of random creations of mine from the past couple of months. And let's see if all these guys can take down the war beast. Oh, yes. I forgot he had that. The plasma beam head. That's good. That's going to help us out in the fight. Oh, man, that's such a weird creation, though, and I think it's already dead. Yes, go, Porcupine, go! Scorpion, super slow, but once he gets over there, should be able to deal some damage. Okay, oh, no! The giant brain mantis has been defeated! Crocodile, you good? No, Crocodile's dead, too. No, Porcupine down! Wait, who's lost? You're lost alive! You got this! Uh, oh, hang on, his health is bugged out. Has his health always been bugged out? That means he cannot lose. Who's still alive? Apparently, someone here is alive. Maybe not anymore. The water beast has won once again. Moving on to this new city map right here. As you can see, we have a bunch of archers. And there's also some Spartan warriors scattered around the map because they need to protect their land. But from what I hear you ask, the brand new Godzilla. I mean, look at this guy. He looks awesome, right? And he also has the new plasma cannon head as well. So yeah, he looks pretty cool. This is a good looking Godzilla. I know it's a little odd in places, but uh, this is Animal Revolt Battle Simulator and sometimes bacon creations a little on the difficult side. But let's start the battle. Okay, so this map is very laggy, but it should come down soon. Okay, everything can be destroyed in this city as well. So that's why it's super laggy. All right, archers keep firing. Oh, he's been messed up. He's knocking down the wall like it's nothing right now. Okay, here come the Spartan Warriors. Well, one. <laughs> There's another one there stuck. Godzilla is going to destroy the city. He's almost broken through. Look at all the arrows in his face right now. <laughs> that looks insane. Come on, Godzilla. Keep pushing. Keep going. So, fun fact about this one. he I don't think he's actually as powerful as some of the other Godzillas I have installed. But I actually quite like that. It means we can take him down a bit more easily. And we can actually put him up against some of my creations, I guess. Ones that aren't too powerful anyway. He hasn't taken any damage though. Okay, so may maybe I was wrong about that. Let me check his stats actually. Okay, so 1,000. I'm pretty sure we've had some that have had a lot more there. Wait, is that, does that say 3 million? Uh, that's a lot of health points. I could be wrong about how powerful he is actually. He might even be the most powerful Godzilla I have. I, I can't remember. Well, he's in the city though. He's got through the walls. All he has to do is take down these archers. Oh, that's one down. He went flying. Oh, I didn't have one. <laughs> He's going one by one. And that's all the archers dead on the wall. Oh, wait, hang on a minute. There is one remaining. Oh, what a shot. That looks really cool. That's a keep firing at Godzilla. There's a good chance that these guys are also going to die very soon. As soon as Godzilla has dealt with the Spartan Warriors down there, these archers on this tower don't stand a chance. It's already wobbling all over the place. Oh, no. Oh, here he comes now. Oh, no. The building's going down. Oh, they're all dead straight away under the rubble. No. Okay. And that's the last archer on the castle wall now dealt with. Look at him. Look how easily he destroys the buildings. And still, he's taken no damage. Well, maybe the tiniest amount if you look carefully. But yeah, there's no way he's losing this fight. Down goes another tower and another archer. Okay, so his objective is just to get here. Well, actually, his main objective is just to kill everyone. So he doesn't even need to breach this area here. As soon as everyone's dead, that's it. He has won. That's it. Keep firing, Godzilla. Take him out. Okay, so we have one archer on this castle tower here. And then there's another one on that side too. Spartan warrior, get out of there. No. Oh, he's still alive. Good job. Oh, never mind. Now he's dead. Look at the state of Godzilla here. <laughs> oh, no. Um, well, that tower is going down. And to the archer on top of it. Good night to you, my friend. Good night to you. Oh, here comes another Spartan warrior. Honestly, mate, you better just fall back. No need to be brave. You're just going to die anyway. Oh, and he's dead straight away. Okay, so I think this is now the last person on the map. The archer in the tower. Oh, he's going down. Look out, bro. <laughs> down he goes. 
And just like that, what a monster. He's done it. Right, let's see how quickly he kills Goru here. So far, so good. He's still alive. Okay, this is basically King Kong here. Oh, yes, punch him, Goru. That's it. Oh, he's dead. Well, never mind. Now, this next workshop creation is very, very strange. But check it out. Oh, no. <laughs> it's fallen out of the map. Oh, no. It's a Brachiosaurus with some weird stuff going on. There we go. He is back. So he has a plasma cannon for his head and then has the T-Rex head on his butt. So yeah, it is very strange. But let's see if it's powerful. Whoa, it's flying again. I don't think the stats have actually been changed on this thing. Down he goes. That's so weird. Let's see. So yeah, by looks of it, no stats have actually been changed. But uh, the plasma cannon here, the guns and all that stuff does make him a little bit powerful. But as you can see, he just falls over. So this creation kind of sucks. Definitely interesting to look at and stuff, but um, doesn't really work too well. Oh, hang on a minute. Let's try the original Godzilla versus the new one. This should be interesting. So the old one is a little bit larger, as you can see, uh, and doesn't have any plasma cannons in it because it was made before the update. Let's find out who's more powerful, shall we? The king of Godzillas. So health-wise, uh, the old one has taken more damage. But uh, yeah, I mean, they seem pretty equal so far. Not too bad. What's going on with the tail here, too? That's really messed up. <laughs> on yeah i think the new godzilla will definitely win this fight it's just going to take a long time to get there because they both have so much health yeah look at that he's going down and this guy well he isn't really going down that much oh he's been pushed off the map the old godzilla has been defeated but anyway on that note i am going to end this one right here there's another video on the top right so make sure you go ahead and check that out also don't forget to comment like and subscribe and i'll hopefully see you in that video right there goodbye